Hi Aries, welcome to your last three months of 2023 reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the sun, moon, rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Aries. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. So basically, I'm just going to read for you guys the last three months, what's happening, unfolding, what do you need to be pre prepare for, what do you need to be aware of, anything that I can tell you that will give you the healing, guidance, clarity, insight into what's unfolding for you guys as 2023 ends. And this can impact any aspect of your life, love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution, but whatever spirit would like to talk about shall be said. So let's get right on into your reading. First, I'm going to clear and set the energy for you guys using my crystal bowl. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath then. And tune into the energy of Aries. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and see what Spirit wants to talk to you about as 2023 wraps up. What else is going to happen? What do you need to be aware of? Let's see. So Spirit, tell me about October for Aries. Ooh, three of spring, Aries energy. I like to see this. It says, plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. So you guys are goal-oriented in October. You want to make something happen, and you guys are taking the steps to do it. And congratulations. A lot of people just want wish, but they don't meet spirit, God, the universe halfway to make it happen. You are Aries. You're starting to take the initiative. You have ideas that you're trying to put to work, put to test, see what's working, see what's not, fulfill what's working for you. And I think there's a lot of momentum building behind it. You're starting to feel this passion for it and it's going to land you in a good spot in October. I definitely think you're gonna see something out of it. I don't think it's gonna be that big, huge accomplishment that you're working towards in October, but you're starting to see the good from it. You're starting to see people that are reacting to you with positive feedback, with saying, dang Aries, you got this, or giving you a little bit of advice, a little bit of steps to get to that end goal type of energy that you're working towards here in October. Tell me more about November for Aries. The Magician. Ooh. So maybe November is when your manifestation skills are high. You are tapping into a very strong creative force within you, Aries, and it's inspiring you. I don't know. There's something about these last three months where you're like, you know what? Whatever didn't work, fine. It's not going to stop me. I'm going to fight it. I'm going to push it through. I have the tools. I have the resources. And that confidence in yourself is letting spirit and showing spirit that you want this, that you're ready for it, that you're going to do what it takes to get it. And I do feel November is when you're starting to see the manifestations, the awards, the relationships, the contracts, the opportunities and offers that you've been working towards Aries. Gemini energy, Virgo energy, and it says you can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. Big success is coming in November for you guys. There's something that you are manifesting, you are achieving, and it's through your own will, determination, and perseverance. You got to give yourself that credit, Aries, in November because you were the one to make it happen. Wow. December. Then we have eight of summer. Very interesting. So that's Pisces energy, and it says the desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that's time to move on, choosing to make major life changes. So whatever it is that you're proving to yourself in November, that you're showing you can do it, there's something that is just going to propel you on going a new path towards a new direction. I wonder if some of you guys are thinking about leaving a job, leaving the area you've been in for quite some time, maybe looking to kind of tr take a travel uh, break for you. 
which could be like in January, February. But I do feel whatever it is that you're proving to yourself, it's leading you to a new life or it's like, all right, I did that. There's more I want to accomplish. It's just like, this is just the very beginning, Aries. Even if you feel like you made it happen in November, it's just meant to open a new path for you to follow down that is more meant for you, more meant of your divine purpose and plan than what you've been living for most of 2023. What's next is kind of what December is telling me here. There's more I want to do, and Spirit is guiding you to do it. You're getting out of the woods, Aries, in December, and October and November is giving you the confidence to know that if there's still struggles, if there's still more I want to accomplish, I can get there. Bottom of the deck, 10 of spring, Sagittarius energy. Ask for help from others, all work and no play, being weighed down by too many responsibilities. This is a bit of a warning spirit wants to give you in the background of this very productive last three months for you guys. Don't burn yourselves out. Don't push yourself so hard that you don't have the time to yourself or to hang out with friends or to be with the people that you love to be with. I mean, yeah, you guys are taking a lot of action and some of this is going to require some work, but make sure you balance yourself, Aries, because if you're only running on a quarter tank of gas when you need to go 400 miles, that quarter tank is not going to get you there, right? So when you feel stressed, when you're feeling overwhelmed, it's okay to say, all right, today, I'm going to take a break. Today, I'm going to have a me day, and that's okay, because I wonder if some of you guys are afraid if you're not constantly working towards this, constantly making moves, the opportunity is going to fall away. Absolutely not with the magician. This is meant for you, Aries, and it's going to happen for you. That's why Spirit is saying, don't stress yourself or overwhelm yourself over this. Interesting. Powerful. I want to know more. So tell me more about October for Aries with this three of spring. Ooh, February. So something may have started in February of 2023 that you've been working towards, that you've been persistent in, that may not show the actual opportunity to go for it or the actual first steps towards it until now in October. I wonder for some of you guys... Um, Something about maybe meeting someone in February. I feel like this could be a romance, but it could also be a business partnership. And uh, things are really starting to kick in in October here. Maybe someone's born in the uh, the month of February, this romantic partner, this business partner. And that's just kind of connotating to who this is that's going to be prevalent in October for you guys. But maybe even some of you, like I said, where it says, um, have patience, there are more good things to come. Maybe what this is telling me is that February is really going to be where you see a major reward from this, the major milestone. November is definitely another step for it, but I think like the big bang, I guess you can say, will be February. Tell me more about the magician. Tent, temporary situation. Huh. I wonder if you guys have to like temporarily live somewhere else in November. Like stay at a friend's house or rent out a place just temporarily before you make the final move. Um, maybe if you guys are looking to travel abroad for a good amount of 2024, you're just kind of staying at someone's house until that time comes. But more importantly, with this temporary situation here, I got to say that November, whatever it is that you want to manifest, whatever it is that you want to see come to fruition that may take till February, you have to take the steps. There is no, like the most power that this innovative, progressive passion that you have, Aries, is going to hit its peak in November. So whatever presents itself to you, take that. Take that opportunity. Take that chance. Because it's exactly what you manifested. And it may not be around for a long time, okay? I just want to let you guys be aware of that. So whatever opportunity presents itself in November, take it advantage of it. Because it will definitely be part of the key to what is to come in February and what you're meant to be guided towards in December, or started to see a different path in December for you. Now, for a few of you, I kind of feel this could also be another option here where there may be something that um, 
provides a little bit of a setback, but that is meant for you to tune into that magician energy to let the universe know it's not going to stop you. So even if there's a temporary hold on something, a temporary pause on something, that is meant to actually just inspire you to keep going. I just want to throw that out there as well. Tell me more about the Eight of Summer. Tiger. I wonder if some of you guys are born near the tiger in Chinese astrology or tiger symbology has always been close to you. You'll start to see a lot more of the tiger as the last three months unfold, especially December. But it says doing something risky, taking a chance. You've been guided to take this risk. You are safe to take this risk. This is your confirmation that whatever you feel is a big part of changing your life, is a big part of moving in a different direction that you've never walked down before. It is absolutely meant to appear in your life at this time. The pull that you have towards it, especially in November, and definitely you're going to see of it in December, the opportunity to follow through. Take it. I, I, it's the biggest confirmation I'm getting from Spirit here, Aries, for your last three months of 2023 that when the risk happens it's not going to be one where you fail it's not going to be one where it all falls apart it's actually going to be the very opportunity you've been asking spirit god the universe for even if it appears risky it's not it's something you're called to i can get why it feels scary because it's the unknown but spirit wants you to know this is what we've been guiding you to do aries this is what you've been wanting and even if it feels like, I don't know if I can do this. You absolutely can. Ooh, and then tennis spring with July. Interesting. It's been an eventful, eventful year for you guys. But yeah, I feel um, for some of you guys, this idea of what you've been wanting to achieve has started to formulate in July. Like the next step. You know, and I feel you guys have been kind of working yourself since the month of July. A lot's been going on, a lot's been happening, and maybe even for some of you, you've been distracted in July from getting this end goal. And Spirit is saying, okay, it's time to prioritize, it's time to dump some of the burdens that are not yours to take on so you can focus on this idea, this major life change that you've been wanting to do. July was your break or July that was kind of like the distractive month for you guys. No more. It's time to do it now, Aries. It's it's no, no longer kind of just figuring out, situating it. This is the time to move and take action. Or maybe even for some of you guys, something big in your life happened in July that made you, um, you know, like the loss of someone, a friendship, uh, the loss of someone you cared about. I don't know if it's like the passing away of someone or maybe their birthday was in July in some sort of sense. But um, I do feel that it's time to kind of let that rest, it feels like. And especially if there was someone or even like a pet I'm feeling for some of you guys that crossed to the other side, they're watching over you they still are, you know, taking care of you as part of your spiritual guidance team and wants you to follow through on this. Even if they were a part of it and they no longer can be anymore, you're still meant to follow through on this. All right. I just want to throw that out there for someone. But anyway, tell me more about the last three months for Aries. Spring. And it says, your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. Wow. So February is the first bloom, and then it goes through all spring. And I do feel maybe even some of you guys in the Southern Hemisphere are entering spring currently, and that is going to be part of the blooming here that you are meant to go through. The awakening, the opening to receive, the opening to take action. Spirit has been sending you so many signs about, you know, the time now to move forward. Just giving you these like intuitive boosts, this hunch at the back of your mind that has been there for quite some time, Aries. It's getting louder and louder. Tell me more for Aries in the next three months. Tell me now more for Aries in the next three months, Spirit. 
stability. Here we go. It says your financial future promises to be stable and prosperous. Take control of your finances to create stability in your life. Excellent time to take action on any money related ventures. So yeah, Aries, this is it. You, if you guys have been worried about the risk of investment, the risk of following through, like what if I don't make as much money? Spirit is telling you, don't worry about that, Aries. You will, okay? Your finances will be stable, secure. We're watching them. And it will be a safe investment to make for some of you guys. That is what Spirit is telling you here. And again, I'm not a business advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. Maybe you'll want to take the extra steps to get that type of advice for you specifically. But it looks like this is what's going to keep you stable, Aries. You will be taken care of through your own work, through your own effort, and what Spirit will provide you through that. <sighs> Tell me more for the last three months of Aries. Interesting, we have number 11, Dried Flower Fairy, Sweet Memories. Hmm. Yeah, I, I wonder for some of you guys where I was kind of like tapping into that energy of someone in February or what you've been kind of building since February or just someone that's around you that they're watching over you and someone that you may have lost or even if it wasn't like they passed over onto the other side. They still care about you. I just feel like the misalignment that happened between the two of you couldn't make it so you guys could persevere through that. But I don't feel as if there's a lot of resentment between the two of you. There's not a lot of ill wishing upon either of you. You guys just kind of know you have to take your separate ways, go your different paths. And maybe that was kind of the catalyst to this awakening, this fire in you, Aries, to make something else happen in your life that couldn't happen with this person. I still feel like they think about you and that's why you're picking up on their energy. But I do feel spirit thinks it's best for you guys to still stay distant from one another so you could follow through on this new path that is truly meant for you. And others of you, yeah, I feel like if you have had someone you've lost recently on the other side, they've become your spirit guide and they are guiding you currently through the love that they send you through messages to remind you that they're still a part of your life, even if they're not physically there, like finding old pictures, finding their old knickknacks. Um, that's a message that they're still with you. Okay, Aries. All right. Some of you guys, the monarch butterfly may be an important signal or a very big resonant message for you um, about your transformation, about how far you've come. You're in the time of where your ring, wings are spreading, Aries. You're not in the cocoon status anymore that you felt like you've been in for a long time. You're meant to take flight these last three months for sure. Anything else that Aries needs to know about these last three months of 2023? Ooh, you guys got the lime. Trigger statement, I am overwhelmed. True statement, I am moving, yes. The time for planning is complete. Take action no matter how small, begin today. I mean, if this has not been the go for it message, I don't know what is. Spirit is encouraging you. Spirit is showing you. Spirit is hopefully motivating you through these messages from me, from your own inner self to take this action, to get things going. You can absolutely do it, Aries. Spirit trusts you. I trust you. You should trust yourself because you're going to make something happen here. Thank you so, so much, Aries, for joining me for this reading. I really hope it resonated with you. I hope it gave you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to whatever is unfolding, happening in the last three months of 2023 for you. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Aries, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Aries.